The one and the only, the triple, the G-O-D, the squad, you, yes you, you live right here with us, right here with Team GRF TV, and yo, I gotta have one of them real talk moments, because I've been meaning to get this off my chest for a while, and I kinda sort of thought I did when I hit that 67 minutes and running joint, but when I really go back and look at that, a lot of where that came from was very underlined without me actually saying what was going on with me personally, and given that a lot of things have personally happened, and for the people who do pay attention, that twice in the span of the last maybe month and a half, I done took breaks of extended leave because I've been going through some real stuff right here. So, this is this is what I want to do. I want to take y'all back to August 27, because that was the night that I put out 67 Minutes and Running, and I really want to explain its actual meaning, because... There's a lot to this story that you probably need to understand and put in perspective. So let Uncle Triple help you. The thought process behind 67 Minutes and Running was simply that I was looking at my current state and looking at it and wondering why I was in the position that I was in and not having anything to do with YouTube, not having anything to do with that, simply because I was having issues at home. Like, it was a lot of things that needed to get done that weren't because to be honest it wasn't enough money is that between this which is getting nothing between the thing that I was doing that was doing a little something and everything else that was coming in it was a lot of stuff that needed to be done and a lot of hard choices had to be made about what could be done when and where given all of this I put out 67 minutes and running and shout out to Jay who's the only person who actually successfully made it through and actually admitted that they did so shout out to you little brother Jay for holding it down for the streets of really understanding like I was going through some money issues for real and y'all know me I don't get on the internet and beg for money because I think that is the most wildest thing people can do that I understand that there's a lot of money out here in these streets but as we gonna get into later is understanding that that money ain't gonna be for everybody that the truth of the matter is everybody got problems because we live in a world that's controlled by money and not how it used to be where you would trade mules and goats and oats and stuff for the things that you needed or marry off your third daughter or some crazy shit like that we don't live in that world but i want y'all to take the 67 minutes and running video and the truth about me getting to this money the way I'm supposed to because I'm supposed to take care of my family and I want to get y'all to September the 11th 2019 that morning I put out the my video for the streets to let y'all know what was really good with her did I not know that in a couple of hours my aunt would show up with a whole bunch of my family members to tell me that my aunt may, may pass away and I honestly meant to make a video about that but it felt so disrespectful it felt so like i'm trying to glob on to something and she meant so much to me that ain't no tribute that i can get in front of this camera and say that would make anything that would make any because what am i what am i trying to say that understanding and knowing that nothing i can say in front of this camera could ever let me describe to you how important she was to me I made a, I took a little clip from a video that I made a couple years ago that featured it that I was going to do something with and talk to y'all about, but I didn't do it because again, like I said, it felt so disrespectful to her memory to just sit up and be like, yeah, I'm just going to throw up a YouTube video. I was going to even make the video private and post it on my Facebook and post it on my personal Facebook page for my family to see and things like that. And I never got around to it because every time I wanted to, every time I tried, I fell into a dark place because one of the most important people in my life is no longer around to be a part of it. And this is, this is something that I'm still dealing with damn near a month later. Because death ain't easy. Trust me, like, at the point when I got on the internet and talked about my mother for real with the internet on his YouTube shit, I was at a point where I was still, like, dealing with it and I thought that talking about it would do something. But time healed that one. It still hurt. It will always hurt that this is a world I live in that don't have Cheryl in it. But... I dealt with it and I used that pain to funnel my creativity because she was a big part of me being creative. When it come to Maymay though, 
she was my big, she was my biggest supporter and my harshest critic. She wasn't scared to tell me when I was doing right, when I was doing wrong, when everybody else around me had their way. She, she when it came to me because she loved me so much, she didn't have no filter. So she told me, "Yo, T, you ain't doing this, but T, you doing this," and, and she kept and she kept me. She was my true north. And you and and a lot of people in life don't get somebody who was just up, frank, and honest with them. And that's what I'm gonna miss most about her. She loved me and cared about me enough to open her mouth and say something. That when she saw something right, she always supported me. And she knew I was doing wrong, she get in my ass. And that's just what. And that's when you know people truly love you. But again, like I said, is that it was. It was at that time really hard for me to be like, yo, I want to get on the internet and I want to talk about my aunt. And, and, and it still feel now that even in this perspective, that it still don't feel real to me. But I know it's something that I'm truly dealing with. You know, and I just wanted to let y'all know. So that little span from the 11th that I made that my video until that week when I was dropping work after work after work after work because I had the opportunity to because it opened itself up to me. That's where that drop was. But let's talk about right now, though. Because you may notice that I dropped the Beast Morphous joint last week. And we in this week, and I ain't dropped nothing since then. That was because Monday afternoon, when I was going to get ready to come put in some work because I had a busy weekend, my ceiling fell in. And that was the thing that's going back to 57 minutes of running because I was trying to sit up here trying to argue with an insurance company about putting a roof on, about trying to get a tarp up there temporarily and things like that. And I don't know how much I really want to go into why my ceiling fell in, but let's just say this. Everybody who was involved is responsible, whether that's me, whether that's the missus, whether that's my roommate, whether that's the people outside the situation running their mouth, and I'm going to get to that. But understanding and know that this was something that could have been avoided. And I'm not talking about being avoided that because I had to make a decision why I had to put money away to figure out how I'm going to sit up here and pay my bills while I got this roof that need to be fixed and things that need to be happening. Just put it this way, that it's a semi-happy end of this, that it's a talk on the roof now. And that's only because my fam came through for me and showed love. And they doing that for me and we getting it together. But knowing and thinking about that way before I made 67 Minutes and Running way years ago. That this was a situation that could have been avoided if I was in the position that I needed to be in there. If that the universe needed me in a certain position and because I made a decision contrary to that. That's something, that's a regret that not only still follows me, but it's still a regret that reverberates in my life when every time something don't go right when it comes to the state of my home and things like that. And I'm just keeping it 1,000 because this whole week, because of, and I'm going to sit up here and be for real, what I have been praying for, for me to get in position, for me to get where it is that I need to be, a lot has popped off. A lot of things that were in the dark came to light, things of that nature and I'm sitting here right now that because I'm making this video because for the, for the people who actually give a fuck that at this junction, I'm going to make it happen because I'm going to be for real. On, on that people talking that noise stuff, the missus thought it was a good idea to start a GoFundMe. And I kind of warned her because what happened, and I'm going to keep it 1,000, was the missus, after the ceiling fell in, took pictures and did that thing you don't do and posted on Facebook. And... The majority of her people that she deal with on Facebook, no matter they connection or whatever, just gawked at the situation. Like, well, you know, if I could, I would. But if you could, you would. But you ain't. So what is you saying something for? Keep it 1,000. You got a lot of people sitting up here saying that. Why are you telling me this? Or why are you doing that? And I'm going to be legitimately honest. One person donated $20 to that GoFundMe, and that was the missus's auntie. So... That goes to show you. But the, one of the things I did, knowing that I was going to say this, was I got on GoFundMe just to go look and see how many GoFundMe's are successful for whatever reason. And everybody needs a reason to have something. Yo mama got cancer today. You got hit by a vehicle. I'm trying to get me a damn car. I need money to go to college and this and that and blah, blah, blah. 
I remember the world before you could get on the internet and beg for money. Because begging for money on the internet has always been the thing, whether that's your Nigerian scams or whatever or however. But the thing is, over the years, setting up your Kickstarters and your GoFundMes and your this and your that or whatever, it's become a business in and of itself. And it's one of the things that I want to miss is about is that you sitting up here asking for what you're asking for, but it's a 99% chance that you're probably not going to get it because of. Now, I could have got on this video and been, yo, like, share the GoFundMe page or whatever, but it ain't no point. And I'm going to look at you in the face and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to make it happen. Because remember what I told you earlier about me getting in position because that's what it is that I have really been getting in prayer for? Is that because that's why everything popped off this week the way that it did because it was time because before that happened I was sitting up for asking for like yo I felt kind of lost especially after I lost my aunt like trying to figure out like what's next trying to figure out and understand like what it is that I'm trying to do and I I didn't know what else to do so you do what you do you go you go to the big man and you be like yo boss what is it that I need to do? Get me in position. And all these things started to happen. Whether they be right, whether they be wrong. But they needed to happen in order to set up what's coming next. Sometimes you got to take one of these to get a whole bunch of these. It's just, it, it is the inevitable flow of life. At the end of the day, though, I'm glad I got on the mic and said this. I am. That, yeah, that ceiling, that ceiling going to get fixed. That because of the mess of what happens when a ceiling falls in on your ass because of things that happened before me, it's going to cost a lot to get that room, like, really clean. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was going to get on this video, and I was going to literally show pictures, and I was like, I don't think so. I don't think that's what's best to sit up here and be like, well, I need your help with something. Because I see that even on YouTube to people I'm subscribed to, like... Again, like, I got my own problems. I can't help you with yours. Because the thing is, is that I expect no help from anybody. Because at this point, if it was that, we probably wouldn't be having this conversation in the first place. But yet, here we are. Here we are at a point, at a precipice of, of understanding what to do. I'm already in the position where I need to be so that I can make things proper, make do things right, and make things happen. Some a little bit of that is this, but understanding and knowing where my trajectory is, I need to stop focusing on this so much and really get back into it because that's where my life is going. I love doing what I do, but I know this ain't my eat, that my be all, end all, and that the most important thing is that I take care of my family, that I do. What it is what I do to make sure that the people who and I and I you and I and I take this phrase importantly, I'm responsible for the people who looked at me as a leader, who looked at me as a figure to sit up here to put that work in, I'm gonna be that guy. All day, every day, all the time. That's what I'm gonna do because I do it better than anybody in the business, and that's rap. But yeah, that's all I really want to say. Your boy's been going through a whole lot. A whole lot right now. I got people dropping left and right. I got ceilings falling in. But I'm still, I'm still standing. So you know what that means? That means my job ain't done yet. That means it's still opportunities to turn it around. I'm going to miss my auntie. I'm going to miss my man. I'm going to miss her. I'm going to miss, I'm going I'm to miss her candid honesty. I'm going to definitely miss the love that you showed me. And most importantly, I'm going to miss that road beef spread. But I, I'd have made it so much I know the recipe. But I'm going to miss the love that went into making it because she knew that was my favorite stuff. Love and cinnamon rolls. <laughs> it hurt. I was in a dark place when I found out my aunt died. I was in a dark place when my ceiling fell in. And how my ceiling falling in led to a whole bunch of discoveries of the what and how was going on in my life that needed to be dealt with. And we gonna see 
whether or not those things were properly dealt with. So, I'll say this. I'll say this on 1000. If you want the link to go for me, I will I will post it in the comments if you ask. That that that's how I'm, that's how I'm gonna do it because, again, just because the reason why I got a Patreon because somebody said they wanted to give me something, I'm not gonna give you the option. But I'm not going to make this video about that because, no matter how many more people get to their GoFundMe to try to go fix something, I'm gonna make sure that it's fixed. So you ain't gotta worry about that, but. If that's information that you want, that you want to know something about it, man, I'll let you know what the situation is. But that's what this video was. But at the end of the day, this needs to be done. I, I need to just let this be what it's going to be. Put this out so that we can move forward and do what it is that we need to do. So, with that being said, let me sit up. Get proper. Look, we've got plenty of more show for you. Plenty of more show, man. You know who got my six. You know who running the. You know who running the quads and the boys. You know what it is, and you know why. Totally. You know where you watching this at. Say no more. Thank you for listening. If you made it through, let me know in the comments that you did, man. I I appreciate the people who always show me love, and you know, even though it's some stuff happening on another way that I'm not even getting no attention to. I see. It's not hard to. Not hard to at all. But it's going to be what it's going to be. So, for everybody who was gawking, when the missus put that stuff up, keep gawking. Talk your, talk your smack, talk your noise, do whatever you're going to do. But, to quote the greatest of all time, I can show you better than I can tell you. And that's from the boss, and that's always, and that's what I live by. You can do this, but if you ain't got no action to back up anything you're saying, then don't even talk. Look. Plenty of more show for all of you. We've got it for you right after these commercial messages.